welcome back to my channel um, today as you could tell by the title it's gonna be my delivery stories it's gonna be for my baby Maximiliano and then for my son Theseus but we're gonna start off first um, with the re most recent one which is baby Max basically what we're gonna what I'm gonna be talking about is just what I went through with my baby. It was due, well let's start from the beginning. I found out I was pregnant in July. And they gave me a due date for March 24th, which my son Theseus' birthday is March 28th. So we were like, okay, whatever. So obviously time passed. Um, we were getting close to March, and all my family they were like, "No, he's gonna be, er, he's gonna come early," because he was my baby was really active, like he kicked a lot. So, and I kept on having those uh, Braxton contractions. I think that's what they call them, those fake contractions. Well, they're not fake because you actually feel the pain, but they're not the real ones. So that's why they kept on saying, "Hey, yeah, I think you'll be early." Blah blah blah. And day by day passed, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, there was times where they would send me to the hospital because they thought I was they they thought I had dilated already, or my water had broken. Those were the two different occasions, the reasons why I went to the hospital. So when I went to the hospital, they obviously check like how much or how much you dilated already. And when I went to the hospital, I think it was three, they said. So they sent me back home. Um, the, the due date, I went past my due date, which was the 24th. Um, so they had to schedule me an induction. Okay. Schedule an induction because he was past due. It was on the 24th, the due date. So then we waited a whole week, which was the... Friday, that Friday the 29th which again uh, my baby's my one well, of my baby but my toddler Theseus his birthday is on the 28th so I was like because they schedule you they schedule your time when well the day you go in you know so I was like well just make sure it's not on his birthday because I didn't want him to be like you know the per se he was gonna be Celoso because there was a new baby at home, so I didn't want to mess up his birthday either So they're like well the only opening is Friday because they were all booked the hospital was all booked so then I was like fine just do it Friday So Thursday was my son's birthday, which we celebrated with just a little cake So then the next morning I had to go in um, You have to be there at the hospital at 6 a.m. in the morning um just to get everything going so i remember being so nervous like the day before because you never know like when i mean your your health is in risk and the baby so i mean you could just be totally fine up to your due date or tell you up up until you deliver but then things could turn the other way and be completely completely bad so the day came we woke up at four in the morning I remember I had my bags ready everything ready um, so me and my husband were on the way to the hospital and there you just go up to the delivery section on the hospital or where you have babies whatever so I got there they tell you to change into this gown hospital gown and to put all your clothes like in a bag they gave you so you do that they check you in mind you they told me like I could pre-register before I went in or before I delivered because I mean I wasn't sure if I was gonna be early or late so they never called me from the hospital to pre-register which I was waiting for and I called them like three times which that doesn't even work I guess because they ask you the same questions again so you get there, you get your gown on, they start asking you all these questions, health risks, allergies, blah, blah, blah. 
So then after that, you wait until, they make you wait until your doctor, who you usually see on the regular basis. They come in and they talk to you, okay, are you ready, blah, blah, blah. And they first start off with rupturing your water. So they just insert like a little hook and they just rip the bag. And you just feel like everything gushing, like como si fuera un balloon of water, you know, just popped. They do that. And then they wait and see if your contractures kicked in. Pero if it doesn't, then they come in with um, some medication inside. They insert it. They insert like an IV, and then through there they they put in like the medicine for you to get those contractions and stuff. And then they tell you if you start feeling contractions, tell me right away so you could get the epidural, which I wanted the epidural. So I was like, okay. So not even like 15 minutes passed by when I was like crying in pain and ladies whoever's been through birth that's like the worst pain ever you could ever experience. Um, so I was like crying telling my husband I can't breathe. I was like telling the, the nurse like hurry get the student blah 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 and I hate it. I'm so terrified because they take forever and I know they have to take their time you know like to get everything prepared and stuff. But once you're going through that pain, you don't even care if they have everything, you know, you just want that freaking medicine. So then I was crying there and they tell you to bend over, like hunch over in order for them to put it on your back. And they put, so they put the epidural and then I, I was like still feeling the pain. I was still feeling the pain. The nurse was right by my side. She turned off the lights. My husband was there by my side. I kept on telling her how come this is not working you know my epidural is not working I keep on feeling the freaking contractions worse and worse she's like okay um, let me up your dose so they leave um, the little string in there it's like they may think almost like a little plastic thing and I I asked her give me more dose and she gave me more dose so then after like five or ten minutes um, I didn't feel anything. Um, after that, the nurse keeps on checking you constantly, how much dilated, and see if like baby's heads come out. So I could say maybe an hour, almost two hours passed by, and the nurse saw baby's head. So she's like, "It's time. I need to call your doctor." So they called my doctor, she came in. Um, mind you, when I was little, I had seizures constantly, and they never I never found out why. So my doctor knew that I, I had seizures and I passed out. And I, I knew when I got those episodes, because you know, you've been through that so much that you just know when, when it's coming. So I was, telling my, I was telling my husband like, tell them I can't breathe. Tell them I can't breathe, I'm gonna pass out, I'm gonna pass out. It started puking. My mom was in the delivery room. My sister didn't want to stay there, so she took my little my son out to the waiting room, so my mom stayed there. And she was holding like the barf bag that they give you, and I was like puking and puking and puking. And I could see the doctor being getting like upset that the nurses wouldn't get their stuff together because I needed to push. Um but my husband was really nervous he panicked and then they were like okay you need to stop puking and start pushing so then i pushed and kid you not i think i just pushed like three times and baby came out like boom and you heard, i heard baby crying and they just gave me the baby but it, it went really smooth with baby max it went really smooth and i honestly like induced than you know waiting until the day or the day before your due date, just waiting on your water baking, whatever. Cause you feel the pain from the minute you, the water ruptures until you get to the freaking hospital. They ask you all these questions, they get you ready and waiting until you open. But with induction, they they keep on monitoring you. Mono, monitoring you? Something like that, whatever. So you get induced and once you feel the first contractions, they tell you, okay, tell me when you want the epidural and you get it right away. 
so you don't have to go through any pain nothing you only go through the pain when you get the first contraction until the guy comes and puts the epidural that's the that's just the time frame where you kind of do have to suck up the the pain of the contractions but um i'd rather get it induced than waiting you know waiting for your water to break and going through the pain like from home while you get to the hospital like driving getting there going up to the floor getting registered getting your gown on it's just really hard and really painful so i rather get induced um it is optional they only let you go up to two weeks past your due date and i was paranoid some girls like to wait you know past or whenever the baby wants to come and that's fine but i was paranoid i was like what if i'm over past due and he's he needs to come out and he's not he's trying to come out but he doesn't know how to push to rupture the the bag so i was like i kept on i don't know and then you start hearing all these freaking stories that on their due date like you know their baby passed away because some condition or whatever so i got myself paranoid i was like oh my gosh what if i'm past due my due date and he needs to come out and then i'm just letting him you know i don't know you just think all this freaking scary shit so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go past one week and that's it like i'm not gonna go past two weeks because i feel so scared and up to that point i was tired i was ready to have this baby because i kept on feeling those fake contractions pain i couldn't sleep Ugh. up to that point you're just like you just want them out so that's my that was my decision on baby max so i was just so scared and mind you not when he came out he had his um umbilical cord wrapped around his neck two times 